Would you like to play along with your piano to a small orchestra or an ensemble? Well, stay tuned, because I've created a couple of downloads for you. There you can play along to Sansons the Swan. One of them is suitable for beginner players and another for more advanced players. Are you sitting comfortably? Then let's begin. Hi, this is Tommy's Piano Corner and I'm Tommy. The place for returning pianists, or indeed anybody who loves playing piano, to share tips and ideas of how to get the best from this great hobby. If this is your first trip here, then don't forget to subscribe. Just hit the small icon in the bottom right hand corner of your screen and it's done for you. A little while ago, I released a video with a free download that allows you to play along using Bach's C Major Prelude to Gounod's Ave Maria. A lot of people downloaded this, so I thought it would be interesting to add something else to this repertoire. Today, I'd like to give you Sansons the Swan. Now, this is a very popular piece of music from the Carnival of the Animals, and probably more or less everybody knows it without necessarily always knowing the name. Of course, the piece was originally written as a cello solo with an orchestra and has been transcribed for solo piano many, many times. The version I first found was in Pianist Magazine's issue 94, where they gave Silotti's transcription in the score section of the magazine. I thought that this would be an excellent piece to add to my play along series because it gives different options for different levels of pianist. So take, for example, if you want to play solo piano, then you could use Silotti's transcription to play along with this, where the piano takes both the piano accompaniment part and the solo cello part. Then, of course, if you're a more beginner type pianist, then you can leave the cello part playing and you can play along quite simply with the piano accompaniment, which is a lot easier to play, but still great fun to learn. Whichever of these two options you choose, you'll still end up with a piece that sounds absolutely beautiful and will give you lots of pleasure to play it. I showed you in my earlier video how you can go about creating your own backing track using GarageBand. I've linked the video here for you because everything you need to know to be able to do this is in that video already. When I came to do the backing track of this particular piece, I found a couple of really useful scores on IMSLP. One of them was what I think is the original orchestral score, where you have the entire orchestra, a cello solo, and of course a piano accompaniment as well. And then I found a very interesting violin and cello duet, again with piano accompaniment. So when I came to create my version of this piece, I effectively used those two and merged them together. To be honest, for a pianist, the only really difficult thing about doing this is that the viola parts are quite often written in an alto clef. I think it's an alto clef, the one that you can move up and down on the, on the stave. And this, you know, we're familiar with treble and bass, but we're less familiar with the alto clef. So it takes a little more thought to work out which notes to play, but not too difficult. Once you've recorded all the individual parts, all you then need to do is simply create versions of it that you can use to play along in different ways. So for example, if you want the piano to be the solo instrument, so say you'll use Silotti's transcription to play along, then you simply silence the cello and the piano accompaniment out when you export the song from GarageBand. Similarly, if you want the cello there, but you want to play along the simpler piano part, then again, you quite simply silence out the solo piano part, but leave the cello part there when you export the song. Very easy to do. If you prefer to play along with a version that's already been done for you, then I've put a link below with a few versions that you can choose from. First, if you'd like to play Silotti's transcription, then I've included a version where I've taken out the cello part and the piano part, so that you can play both of these together with it. I included the first bar or so of the piano introduction just so you can get a feel for the tempo before you start playing along. 
Alternatively, if you just want to play the simpler piano part for the moment, then you'll find another version where I've just removed the piano part that you can play along and the cello solo is still there. And then as a bit of a bonus, I've included a third version that has effectively got everything except the cello. So this might be fun for those of you who play instruments other than piano and that you can play along with. Whichever version you choose, I hope you'll have as much fun playing along as I had making them. Here's me playing along with the simple piano version, just so you can get an idea. If you're not already, then please do remember to subscribe to Tommy's Piano Corner. Click that little bell icon so that you're notified of all new videos as and when they're released. I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week.